Jacob. Ah, Mr. Jacob. I'm requesting a YouTube collaboration with Fiener Productions. All right, Gracie, come on. Go ahead. Can I get a large double double? She'd love one. Thank you. My name's Corey, my dog's name is Gracie, and this channel is all about our adventures in the Maine woods. In this video, I'm going to meet up with my buddy Jake in Allagash and go on an ice fishing adventure. But first, I need to collect my mail. So we got a Christmas card from Scott. Thank you, Scott. Christmas card from Dewey that's a picture he took of Helen Hamlin's wood box with the Indian that she painted on it. Thank you Dewey. Uh, North Main Woods gave me a gift of a year subscription to Northern Woodlands magazine. It's really awesome. Thank you. Uh, another Christmas card from Randy with a note inside thank you Randy and from Camille Boyer's family um, specifically Bree Boyer which is Camille's granddaughter one of his granddaughters um, this says Ashton Boyer uh, little drawing I guess it's me and Gracie at the cabin nine mile and well I'll just I'll read the I'll read the note that she wrote me dear Corey happy holidays my name is Bree and I live in Louisville Kentucky I am one of the seven grandchildren of Camille Boyer my father's name was Pete Boyer one of Camille's twins and he passed away as of late July this year has been incredibly difficult for the Boyer family, but one thing that brought us incredible comfort was learning of the Nine Mile Camp renovation you did this summer. The evening after my father's funeral, the children, grandchildren, and loved ones of Camille sat around together and watched your videos back to back. My aunts and uncles made several comments of your hard work and appreciation for you performing the jobs just as my grampy Camille would have completed them. I truly wish my dad would have been able to see the work you'd put into the cabin. Please know how much our family appreciated your hard work and the time spent on preserving such a huge piece in our family's namesake. I send this donation in honor of my father, Pete Boyer. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Much love, Bree Boyer. I, I'm so, it's overwhelming really and humbling. I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm extremely grateful for all of this, for everything, all the support from that cabin project is, it's really remarkable and just all the gifts, everything we've, we've, we've gotten from this. There's a couple cool photos and this photo here is at the cabin at Nine Mile and it's, uh, it's Pete Boyer, which was Camille's son and and Brie is the little girl in that photo. And then this is a photo of Camille fishing on the St. John River. It's really cool, it's just this whole project and I feel like I'm connected with so much history now and I love it and um, I'm just really looking forward to the next project, the next cabin project and sharing that with you.
recording me right now? No. Let's go. You don't like being recorded, do you? Get the camera out of my face.
Welcome to the Little Black River. Mud Pond. I got to cut. <laughs> You're almost through. It always is hard right at the end. What, you ran on a rock? I drove this hole right on top of the mud. Quite a bit of ice. You just hooked them right behind the door. Yeah, right behind the dorsal, yeah. Pass me a leather glove too. Jeez, I'd say this boiled quite a bit. We lost quite a bit of water in there.
break those two sticks off on the end. That one hand. <laughs> Make it happen. You I'm gotta, not touching that. You gotta hold something. One thing or the other. I'll hold this. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork. I'm not holding that. See if I can get a good stair going with it. This might not work, Corey. We lost a lot of water in this. Yeah. Chew it. I don't want to. bolt came out of the connection here for the tow hitch <laughs> so we already tied it once with this rope and we got a couple miles out of it anyway right oh, yeah. and then uh that failed so we cut the strap uh the tail of the ratchet strap and trying to limp this thing out of here get back to the truck so Corey, give her another square knot for good measure <laughs> all right i'll give her one more overhand here so we got skunked day one, the first spot. Still a nice day to get out. And tomorrow we're going back to the uh, the old reliable. See if we can pull a fish out of there.
Well, we just got a flag. Jake went down to scout out a different area and I looked over and we have a flag. I think he called it. He said that was gonna happen too. Just feel it swimming. Not very big. Going to try put it back, but it's very cold. He got, he went. I was going to try to hold him up for the camera, but all right, we got one. We didn't get skunked. My hands are freezing. I gotta go back to the fire. I just rebaited this and it went off again. Maybe it was the bait. It might just be the bait just one? right from here. No kidding. Yeah, I waited till you left and then. I caught one. And then I just I just rebaited it. I was just walking back, so it might be the bait. Are you serious? Look at the How big was it? Small. You get it on video? Kind of. Yeah. Oh. I was rolling. That's what it took, man. So, um I can see that your hands are cold. You I was just going to warm up you? my hands. Uh yeah, I had to punch him in the face. No. <laughs> yeah, no, I was when I had to break the ice. Um, cause it was frozen. I didn't have the skimmer. It's not moving. Like I said, I just literally just 30 seconds ago baited it, maybe a minute ago. And wow. you caught a fish. Yeah. <laughs> we caught a fish. All right. First video of 2022. It was a great trip. Didn't go the way we thought it would. It never does. That's okay. I just want to thank Jake for shooting a lot of that footage. That I was able to use for the video because my cameras weren't working right because of the cold. I couldn't fly my drone because of an app update on my phone. Uh, so most of that footage was Jake. So thanks a lot to Jake for doing that. Also wanted to let you know Jake has a YouTube channel. He's been doing it since 2008 and he makes some really awesome videos. And I'll include the link to his channel in this video description. I also want to thank some companies that sent me some products to try out some I was able to use in this video, some I'm going to be able to use in the next video. The first company, Heat Holders, they sent me a hat, gloves, and socks, which I'm wearing now, and I used them the whole time while I was out there on the trip. I get cold hands and cold feet really easily, and I was really impressed with how the socks and the hat and the gloves and everything kept, kept me warm, especially my hands and my feet. Uh, so I'm really impressed with that. Definitely something that I'll spend my own money on and, and get some more 
pairs of socks, longer ones and things like that. So I highly recommend them. Next is this block and tackle pulley system that I got from my buddy Albert Peel at Nifty Lift, uh, niftylift.com. This is a pound and a quarter um, block and tackle pulley system. He designed it for keeping on your snow machine and using it if you get stuck um, because this thing can lift up to 700 pounds. I'm going to do more of a detailed video and show you how I use this. Um, I've had this for a while. He sent this to me back in the fall and I haven't been able to make that video yet. But this is an awesome product. I'm really excited about it and I'm definitely going to show you how I use this in future videos. Bushwick Kitchen sent me three of their sauces, spicy honey, sriracha, and spicy maple. And I'm looking forward to trying that out. I have a plan to use it in my next video and I'll let you know what I think about them. And I'm really excited about Fantic sent me a 300 watt power unit and a set of the solar panels for it. They've offered to sponsor the next video, which would be awesome because I'm planning on using this for all of my power needs in that video from charging my phone, camera batteries, the drone, and a set of these LED string lights, which I'm going to use to illuminate camp at night. So I'll tell you more about this product in that next upcoming video. As always, thanks for all the support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Jake just finished flying the drone. I just put in our first trap and the flag's already up. So we're gonna go grab that. Should be a good fish. It sounded dumb, didn't it? No, I think it sounded good. Dude, why are my whiskers? They feel gross, man. It's just your breath. Like, you want a beard or facial hair in the winter because it helps keep you warm, right? I don't think it does. I think it's what people say. But then, like, does it really? Because when it's covered in icicles, is that really helping keep you warm? A beard would keep you warm if it was a beard. What we what have, are you saying, Jake? What, what are you I'm, saying? What, what I'm about to say, if you let me finish, is what we have, not you, what we have, I don't think has much R value. Oh, you're definitely capable of having a much higher R value than than me. I am. If but you my hear wife it out. Does, my wife doesn't like it. But I thought she was in the Jeremiah Johnson look. Uh, La Pousse. <laughs> my beard. <laughs> yeah. What's he say? She's like itchy or something, right? Well, hell, don't run off. It's me. Yep. That's good. That's that drone video is gonna. Dude, are we spooled or what? Oh, you know what? I probably got too excited. It could be just the bait. I bet what I've been saying. Did you say that? <laughs> Jake's taking his time. We just put in our first trap and we got our first flag. Gotta take a second because I think it was your bait. More than yesterday. Good. No. we're fishing with these giant things. I want I want you to know when you get a muskie on that thing is going to be cranking okay usually. Right, cut. 